And just before we go, let's do a quick recap of the top trending stories from the courtrooms. We begin with the report that the Federal High Court sitting in Lagos has ordered the final forfeiture of a sum of 7,646,700,000 naira said to have been illegally kept by a former Minister of Petroleum Resources, Mrs. Dezani Alison Madweke. About three weeks ago, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission approached the courts to seek an interim forfeiture of the money to the federal government. The commission told the vacation judge, Justice Chuka Biozo, via an ex parte application, that the 7.6 billion naira was part of a sum of $153,310,000 which Mrs. Alison Madweke allegedly siphoned from the coffers of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation sometime in 2014. The EFCC also alleged that Mrs. Alison Madweke stashed the money in three banks, and the federal government had since February last year, through an order granted by another judge, Justice Muslim Hassan, also of the Federal High Court, recovered part of the money from the other banks. The anti-graft agency recalled that the federal government had recovered 23.4 billion naira, $5 million, and another 9.8 billion naira out of the $153.3 million. Justice Obiozo had granted the interim order on the 9th of August and directed the commission to cause it to be published. He then adjourned till August 28, 2017, for the bank and any other interested party to appear before him to show cause why the funds should not be permanently forfeited to the federal government. At the proceedings on Monday, August 28th, the EFCC told Presiding Justice Abdulaziz Anka that the Commission had complied with the court's order and no one had come forward to lay claim to the money. He urged the court to order the final forfeiture of the money. Justice Abdulaziz Anka granted the order as prayed. He also held that all parties have a right of appeal.